What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fan stand up. Yo, you see right there? I got the old school starter jacket on. I mean, it's one of my favorite Cowboys jackets, man. I had to put it on for all my people out there in Texas. They mad at me. Because, you know, Texas people... They're big, they're bold, you know, but they don't deal with no ice and they don't deal with no snow too well, man. And I said that on Twitter. Now a lot of Cowboys fans like, yo, Tuck, why y'all being hard on us Texas folk No, we can't drive on no snow with no ice? Ah, my apologies, man. My, my apologies, but we going to get y'all right, man. But speaking of getting right, we got some interesting things to talk about when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys. And it starts with the staff. And I will say this, man. If you are one of Mike McCarthy's homeboys, he's definitely going to look out and put you on and hire you. And that's what happened today when the Dallas Cowboys announced that they are hiring Mike Solari as the offensive line coach. So Mike Solari, offensive line coach, um, is a veteran guy. Man, this guy has coached with Tom Landry. And when I first saw that, I'm like, Tom Landry, like, how old is he? You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, Tom Landry, right? Um but he's going to replace Joe Philman, um, who was not renewed and brought back. But Solari was an assistant offensive line coach under Mike McCarthy in Green Bay in 2015. He spent 1987, 88 seasons in Dallas working on Tom Landry. So Mike McCarthy just brought in a Landry guy with Jerry Jones in the house. We'll see how that goes, right? Um, he was last in the NFL in 2021 um, with the Seahawks. He's also worked with the Cardinals, 49ers, Chiefs the Giants in his 30-year NFL coaching career. So he's a veteran guy that's seen a lot. But like I said, you know, we definitely have to look at it from different perspectives, right? Even though he's a veteran guy and who Mike McCarthy is familiar with, right? Uh, I remember Mike Nolan being a veteran guy that Mike McCarthy was familiar with, and we saw how that worked out from a defensive standpoint. But, you know, I feel like this offensive line did need an overhaul. The good thing about our offensive line is we got a lot of veteran guys. We got a lot of guys who's been there, done that, Hall of Famers, uh, you know, and, and Tyron, and also Zach Martin. It sounds like from, J uh, from Jerry Jones' comments today that Jason Peters could possibly return as well. So you got some, some leadership already in the room. So maybe the offensive line coach can kind of build off of that. I know a lot of people are talking about Duke Mayweather and, you know, Mark Colombo, but it seems like Mike McCarthy trusts his guy and he wants to continue with his guy. So if you want a job and you want someone who's going to refer you for a job, especially in the NFL, Mike McCarthy is the best friend to have. You got, you got to get Mike McCarthy in your Rolodex because if there's an opportunity – He's definitely going to bring his friends on board. But speaking of on board, let's transition to our owner, our GM, our a little bit of dual everything, and Jerry Jones. So he conducted an interview today at the hotel, and Dallas Cowboys are onward and upward with Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott. Now, I know you all see the title Dak Prescott, and we'll talk about that here in a second, but what they really asked him was about the separation from Kellen Moore. And, of course, you all know Jerry. He's always going to tap dance around the issues, never give you a straight answer, right? Um, but pretty much he was saying, you know, he wanted a coach to not, you know, have to be involved in the play calling. He likes to walk around coach. That's why he took the play calling away from Jason Garrett when they hired Mike McCarthy. He said, I didn't want Mike McCarthy calling plays, right? I want to I want to walk around coach. No, you just wanted Kellen Moore still calling plays. But I get it, right? Um, but – Jerry Jones said, hey, you know what? We have to look at the man in the mirror. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and and change your ways. And so he said, you know, after, you know, what happened versus San Francisco for the second year in a row, he had to look himself in the mirror and, you know, reflect. And you know what? He wants to, you know, change some of his thought process. And he wants to give the play call into Mike McCarthy. Now, the Dallas Cowboys will still hire an offensive coordinator. As of right now, we've interviewed two people. Um, but nothing's been set in stone yet, but they will be running Mike McCarthy's West Coast offense. And me personally, if you follow this channel long enough, you know how I've been vocal about getting back to a traditional West Coast offense. For those of you who do not understand the language and the science behind a West Coast offense, I will be breaking that down on this channel. So that's why you got to comment, like, and subscribe so you don't miss out. And turn that notification bell too, right? So we'll definitely go over the West Coast offense. But, you know, as of right now, if you look around the league, 
who is the most notorious West Coast offense team in the NFL? Well, the team that's playing in the Super Bowl, and that is the Kansas City Chiefs. So Andy Reid's a West Coast guy. But he got Eric Bieniemy to kind of remix and add some new flavor to it. So I think that's what Mike McCarthy and the Cowboys are looking to do. Um, speaking of Dak Prescott, um, Jerry Jones came out and said that he believes in Dak Prescott, that Dak Prescott is the quarterback of the future. Um, you know, he doesn't see them moving on and getting a new quarterback. Stephen Jones has also echoed that. So for all you Dak haters out there, this is probably when we're going to leave the channel. You know what I'm saying? But it sounds like Stephen and Jerry Jones are not fully out on Dak Prescott. Now, we all know how the Cowboys do, especially in the offseason. So a lot of the things that we're going to hear, y'all, you got to take it with a grain of salt because they'll say one thing and completely do the opposite. So I got my eye on the Cowboys, and particularly in this year's NFL draft, because I'm thinking they're going to take a quarterback probably day three of the draft, and then we'll have that whole conversation. But it sounds like they are fully on board for Dak Prescott being their quarterback of the future. But also another name that was mentioned that was tied to Dak Prescott is his counterpart, Zeke. 21, can you do something for me? And it sounds like they're open to keeping Ezekiel Elliott. That is a tough conversation that a lot of Cowboys fans are having. And I've been asked, like, Tuck, are we keeping Zeke or are we moving on? Right? I feel like Zeke wants to be a Dallas Cowboy. He wants to stay in Dallas, right? Um, I feel like that's where he wants to kind of end his career is as a Dallas Cowboy. But even though I think Zeke is willing to restructure, you can't come disrespectful. I, I, just, I just feel like if the Cowboys and Stephen Jones come with some disrespectful restructure offer, Zeke's going to be like, all right, never mind. I give up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I know that the Cowboys are very partial when it comes to Ezekiel Elliott. I know the fan base is in some capacity as well. But I will say this. The Joneses, they don't like losing no negotiations, right? So they got an opportunity to kind of get you back for what you did, you know, a few years ago when you went to Cabo and, and held out. They're going to try. Like I said, if it gets ugly, I can see the Cowboys moving on from Zeke, as I said in my video yesterday. But hopefully they can come to some type of agreement because even though Zeke is the running back that we're accustomed to seeing, he still provides a lot of value in the red zone. And also pass protection, man. But that's it, man. It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow the channel, man. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. And also, CFO Sports, the merch store is below. Got some new merch coming out soon. I can't wait to drop for y'all to see, man. So definitely use that code CFO Gain and get your 10% off, man. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged. And my people in Texas... Y'all gonna be alright. It's just a little ice. Peace.